The challenge to all ophthalmologists is to get a complete continuous curvilinear capsular excess in a case of mature intumescent cataract. Due to raised intralenticular pressure, chances of rexus runaway, extension and Argentinian flag signs are always in the back of our mind. This video depicts a novel yet simple technique for handling mature intumescent cataract. All is required is a 26 gauge needle and a 5ml or a 2ml syringe. Small side ports for closed chamber maneuvers is first made. After injecting air bubble to protect the endothelium, the anterior lens capsule is stained with trifan blue. It makes the capsule thicker and visually more helpful. We take the 26 gauge needle with some saline filled in the syringe in case the capsule gets stuck and you want to flush back like a reflex in FACO. As you tear slowly, start aspirating in the bevel down position as the anterior lens capsule will get stuck if the bevel is facing upwards. When you start aspirating, the liquefied cortex and the intralenticular pressure decompresses and the chances of an Argentinian flag sign is nullified. Once you aspirate the liquefied cortex, try to tap the lens so that fluid trapped beneath the nucleus comes out anteriorly. Once the aspiration is done, this nucleus and the anterior lens capsule behaves like any other cataract, helping us to get the desired size and shape of the rexus. Keeping in mind, the anterior chamber should be completely filled with viscoelastic at all times. For heart mature cataract, this technique can be preferred where you have cataract with liquefied cortex where the chances of rexus to run away or tear or extend are very minimum or nil in this technique. The scariest cataracts are the intumescent cataract where the intralenticular pressure is very high and the chances of extension is the maximum even after the first nick. As you can see, the amount of liquefied cortical matter being aspirated in the 26 gauge needle slowly and gently. This simple step ensures the intralenticular pressure has been brought down drastically and the chances of an Argentinian flag sign is almost nil. Once that step is done, the rexus can be initiated with a cystotome or a capsule rexus forcep. The shearing and the ripping force should be used together so that the rexus is always pulled towards the center of the nucleus. The size of the rexus will also be adequate and make sure that the anterior chamber is always filled with sufficient viscoelastic. In some of the intumescent cataract where the nucleus is very soft, even after aspirating in the central, you will not be able to continue with the rexus because of loss of counter traction. So you take the needle, aspirate around the periphery and then after making a clear corneal entry, using a forceps, you continue the rexus. Always make sure you always hold close to the margin of the point of tear. In cases where the rexus is slightly small but big enough to complete the phaco emulsification without damaging the margins of rexus, the IOL can be placed and then the rexus can be extended by making a linear cut using a vana scissors and then with a micro rexus forceps, you can extend the rexus to the desired amount till the edge of the IOL so as to prevent any anterior lens capsule phimosis. For such demanding patients, such good post-operative outcomes are possible. This is a novel, simple, cost-effective technique compared to many of the laser-assisted capsulorexis procedure. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the video.